Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, what I'm going to do is really take a little bit of time and cover the Lead Connector mobile app through high level. This is a really uh, valuable tool that you can have inside of your business. Before we get started here, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button. I always appreciate your support. And I do want to give you just a heads up. This video is going to be a bit weird because I'm going to be basically looking at my phone and I've got to connect with my phone. So just please bear with me on this one. It's a little bit of a stranger video, but I wanted to show you what the mobile app is, how it's, you know, once you're logged in, what you see, the features that it has and stuff like that. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, here we are here, and uh, hopefully you could uh, you could see my little screen here. I've got, I'm using, utilizing my, uh, my iPhone for this one so I can demonstrate the Lead Connector mobile app. So uh, right now, like I said, this is a bit of a stranger video, but not very many people can understand the Lead Connector app. And it, when you're at high level here, you get this Lead Connector mobile app completely free. Um, there are a couple of different apps that um, High Level has. You can download an actual High Level app. That one is branded with the High Level logo. The Lead Connector one is what they call their gray labeled. It basically is, it doesn't say High Level. So you can have your clients, um, any of your clients, download this mobile app and they can literally almost run their business and communicate with their clients using this mobile app alone. They, they might not, depending on your client, they may not even need to have the desktop version of high level, just this mobile app is all they would they would need. So I wanted to at least show you what it looked like, run you through some scenarios, show you some of the features in here, because I don't really think anybody else has anything like this out there, and I really wanted to show you just all the things that you get with high level. Again, the mobile app doesn't cost anything more. Now, I will take that back. If you want to have your own personal branded mobile app, you can do that through high level. Um, it's another $500 a month charge. That's a separate service other than the high level software every month, but you can have your own branded icon through the App Store and the Google Play Store. High level handles all of that for you. So you can have literally your own branded mobile app if you wanted to. But really what I wanted to do is just use the Lead Connector app, show you what it looks like and some of the features. All right, let's kind of get to it. So here in the main dashboard, as you see, um, we have a, a couple of different places in here. We have recent activities that we can simply scroll up and down and look at some of the messages that have gone in and out and the recent activity. You see here you've got basically a quick look at your opportunities, your pipelines, conversion rate. So if you're using pipelines and opportunities, you can see all the, um, just real quick, all the ones that you have. And if you wanted to, you can click on the All Pipelines link and look, look at the different pipelines that you have here. You see the three dots underneath there, so we can go right and look at any tasks that are completely associated with you. Now you can automate that whenever things happen through a workflow. You can create a task for you to follow up with somebody later. This doesn't necessarily have to be you, it could be a team member, but this is what that particular person would look like, I'm sorry, when they look at their app, the tasks associated with them. So you can keep scrolling and look at the average rating. This is your reputation management. So you can quickly look at what your average rating is. You can send out review requests and things like that. But there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with this app. Let's kind of keep walking our way through it here. Notice at the top here, um, you've got, uh, we're in a, a demo account, digital or digi global agency. But if your user is assigned to multiple sub accounts or multiple different locations, for instance, you could have a client that has three locations in which case you might have three sub accounts created for that same account, that same user. Well, they could just simply click on the drop down, get a list of all the other sub accounts, quickly move to a different account, and then pull up the information in that account. So you, this isn't um, one login for one account. Any account that you have access to in high level, it shows it here. So that's another great thing. We're going to start going across uh, some of these icons here at the bottom. So we're actually at the home screen here. We're going to move over to this little bubble. And this is our conversations area. So any of the unread conversations, this is where you get all the messages, for example, that come in from Google My Business, Facebook Messenger. Um, it could be coming in from Instagram. It could be coming in from uh, your website chat wizard. I mean, there's multiple different input places that people can communicate with you through high levels, um, sort of um, extended connections that it has. So all of the conversations flow into here. From here, you can simply click respond. 
So if they if they responded, uh, I'm sorry, if they came in through, let's say, Facebook Messenger, well, you can click on that and respond. The system will respond back through Facebook Messenger. So if they came in through a website chat widget, then you will respond back to them using a text message. So the system automatically knows how the lead came in and will respond back on the exact same channel. So that's a great thing to have. And uh, this right here is one of the more popular areas to, to inside of the mobile app is every time you get communications, you'll get a little pop-up notification on your phone saying, hey, you just got a new message. Just like you do with a text message, you get a little message saying a text came in. You can, the owner or your client or your team member, however it is, can simply click on this, open up the message, read it, respond in real time, all with uh, their phone, and they can still be running their business at the same time. They don't have to be in front of a computer, which is the power of this app. So here we're gonna move on to the star. This is the reputation management settings. So inside of here, um, you see we can uh, look at all of the invites that you have, the reviews that have been received, your average rating, the analysis, whether or not you know, the system sees it as you're positive or negative on that one. You see the reviews, and you can even see any of the review requests that you've sent out. Now here, um, we're actually gonna show you how you can receive a review request here in just a minute. But we're gonna keep moving. The next one's gonna be the calendars. Now the great thing about calendars is that you can have unlimited number of calendars inside of high level. Now, with the unlimited number of calendars, depending upon the calendars that you have access to, then you would have access, if you look here, there's a book a call with me. You can select the calendars and simply move to like demo request. You can move to a different calendar. Any calendar that you have access to in high level, you have access to here. To be able to look at it, choose, now we don't have anything in this one, this is a demo account, but any day you would see any events that would appear, you can look at any calendars, showings, and so forth, all of that stuff is available at your fingertips here inside of the mobile app. So moving on, you've got your contacts area. So your entire CRM system, just like contacts on your phone, you can have a, uh, your entire CRM contacts. It has a, you can have availability through here. You can simply click on the search. If you want to search for a particular name, let's just say I'm going to do John Smith. I can just simply search for it the same way I could inside of my contacts on my phone, quickly find a contact, open that contact up and find out any communications that have been going on with that person. So if I did click on a lead, notice I get access to all the information that they have um, in here, all their campaign information. So you see, it's really powerful. You have access to all of that at your fingertips. Now, moving on here, the next thing I wanna show you are these two buttons, the plus sign and the little lightning bolt. So right now, if you wanna click the plus sign, you see this is just a great way to just add a contact if you wanna add somebody manually to your CRM system. You do have the option of doing that. Right now, if you click on the lightning bolt, you get a couple of different options if you want to. Number one, you can send an email quickly to somebody, add a contact, book an appointment, request a review, which I'm gonna go through and show you how easy that is. You can create an invoice. So you can easily create an invoice and, and send that invoice out to a client. If you're out in the field, that way you don't have to wait till you get back to the office and do your billing. Because uh, once you get your invoicing set up, it is just a couple of clicks, choose the client, choose the service or how you want to build them, click send and voila, it's that easy. And then you can even add a new opportunity, make a phone call or send an SMS message. So if you want to make a phone call, you would simply do this. Now here's the beauty of this. Do you see where it says call from? This is a local number that we have configured inside of the high level system. So what this means is that you can make phone calls from the mobile app and it does not expose your cell phone number. So you can be calling from the actual number in the office and it looks like you're calling from the office phone line. So that's the beauty of this. You don't expose your, uh, even though it's a mobile app, you don't expose your private number as long as you make and take the phone calls inside of the, the lead connector app, you're good to go. It all looks like it's coming from the same phone number. So here, if you wanted to, you can create an SMS message, simply click on, uh, you know, put the name, phone number, and send a message. Now here are just some of the quick links I did say I was going to look at the request review, because this is where it's very important. Let's just say you've got a client, and you know they're just finished with an appointment, everything went well, they showed, they bought. So right now, your team member from the mobile app, again, they don't have to be at their computer, can just say request re uh, review request. Now notice at the top, you can either send an SMS or an email for this one. Now right now I'm gonna do an email because I don't have any SMS uh, enabled clients in this particular example, but I can simply click here, 
Um, your default template, whatever reputation management template that you have configured in high level is what's used. All you have to do is select the contact. We can just choose Jane Smith here and just click send email and review request. Now I'm not because I don't want to um, send it out to a, you know, somebody else's potential email here. But that's it. You see, within a couple of clicks, now you can send out an SMS and an email request requesting a review right after the client leaves right from your mobile phone. Perfectly easy and simple. Now let's go over a couple of other things that are on the mobile app here. These, the hamburger menu in the top left corner, if you click on that, notice that we've got the logged in user and we've got our settings. So we can simply click on the settings. This gives you um, the ability to sit back and choose what, you know, what do you want to have, the appearance, things like that. So we're also going to come back here and we can access the opportunities. So in this area, we can access um, any particular leads that we've got. Now, this pipeline is empty. We don't have anybody through this particular pipeline, but you have access to this and you can actually change whatever pipeline you want. Notice if you had more than one pipeline, you could select any pipeline um, in the system that you have access to to take a look at those. So that's another great feature to be able to do you know, any of your um, manual actions here. So right now, uh, if you click on this and we go to invoices, again, uh, we, we see invoices, we can just simply click on the little option here. If we wanted to, we can create an invoice. Here, we've, you see it's already been branded with the company logo. All we have to do is select a client. Um, and this right here, we see the company information's already been pulled up here. We see the date issued. We can just select the date, the due date, give it a due date of whatever. Notice that those were required fields. We click next. There's no items added. We can click on it and say, oh, well, maybe this is, uh, we just finished up the website here and we're gonna choose the website consulting fee. So now that's $2,000. We can click on the taxes if we need to. And uh, there's, uh, I believe they should be able to pull up the taxes here if we want to edit it. So let's just say here, if there's state tax, you can also include local or federal tax. Now again, the taxes have to be set up before you use the mobile app. But once they're set up, you should be able to utilize them in here. We're not gonna select anything here. We're gonna move forward. <clears throat> just simply click next. Notice that we have the, the client, their email address, the website, and now we can just simply click send invoice. And that's how quickly and easily that you can, um, we're not gonna save any of the changes, sorry about that, but <clears throat> you can see how quickly and easy all you have to do is just select that inside the mobile app. And within a few clicks, you can really send out invoices and handle all of your billing all within this particular mobile app. So. Those are some of the, just the great features that we have here on the mobile app. I hope you found the video useful, found out how just powerful the mobile app can be. High Level is continually upgrading the app to include new features that are integrated with High Level. But right now, this is the current state of the app. It's a great functional tool. Again, it comes with this monthly subscription. Whether you're on the low end or the high end of the subscription, you get connect this to your mobile app, which is great. Again, just remember you, you can configure your own mobile app, but that is an additional monthly charge to have your custom logo on there and, and your version added to the app store and things like that. So if you found the video helpful and useful, please click on the like uh, of this video. I always appreciate it. Leave me a comment and please subscribe to my channel if you have not, if you're interested in learning more about High Level. Thank you again so much and have a great day. Hey, I want to thank you again for visiting my channel and give you one more little thing here. If you are interested in high level and getting some additional high level training, please see the link in the description below. I do have a free course I'm offering that covers everything related to high level and gives you all the information that you need to know. Thank you so much and have a great day.